Hiya, good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the File Wanderer. Uh, I'm just coming into Blackpool, I've been for a, a little run round, I've had to go, just go and uh, get some bits and pieces. So I thought I'd bring you for a trip, I've got my dogs in back at car, uh, so I'm going to drive over to uh, Lytham Hall and take them a wander around Lytham, so I wondered if you'd be interested in coming with me. Uh, it's quite, a, quite an impressive place. Uh, it's it's a lovely old building, so uh, you might uh, you might enjoy it. So we'll get onto it, you look, and uh, we'll get back down onto the front. So uh, now then, can we get down this? I, do you know I can never remember where? Oh yeah, I can get down here. I can never remember down here. Past them new uh, newly painted. Um, pedestrian crossings again very controversial <laughs> and this this building straight in front of you is uh, the Metropole yellow tram here coming up beside of us they seem to be painting them in different colours this uh, you know they've, they've got sponsorship on some so different anyway there's two or three now I think there's Pleasure Beach and Pretty Little Thing but uh, yeah It's a bit better now, weather's changed a little bit, my god. I never thought we were going to get another good, decent day. It's, uh, it certainly makes place a bit busier. It makes it look a bit a bit nicer as well. It's still windy though, and it's still really cold. But that'll come. This tower there, look. It always makes you feel better seeing that, doesn't it? I can see it's windy with them uh, seed pods blowing over a lot, coming westly. I think it's a bit quiet today in town. I used to come here regular to live them all and bring dogs and they love it <clears throat> but since uh, my little dog Digger he's, he's gone deaf in last well 12 months he's gone really bad now I have a job getting him back and I really don't like him being on a lead because he's he's not a naughty dog he don't go for other dogs or chase anything unless it's a squirrel and uh, he's in woods up here where we go for a wander and of course there's squirrels and if he sees one oh that's it but I can't get him back, so I'm, I'm going to have to take Leeds with me to this today. Uh, let him have a wander so far, and then put him on lead where squirrels might be, like, you know. So, uh, or she might be, be me cursing. And you won't want that. Well, there's a few people out. I, th I didn't think it was as busy as this. Big wheels going around on, uh, what's it, Central Pier. No happy days, I don't think, is open today. I think what it is with price of electricity nowadays, they, uh, they've they got to have it busy or it's, they're just losing money. Uh, they can't open willy-nilly anymore.
These lights are taking their time to change. Oh, here we go. No, he's not open today, Pete. You can't blame him if footfall in there. It's not promenades close, Sunday 8 till 3. Uh, it's Blackpool Marathon. So. And then we'll turn off and come past some at Shelps. Oh, look at that, that's a fancy thing, isn't it? The eco. That'll be all grief if it's out like lorries. Right, let's turn up here. And this is main shopping area. So there's loads of little, you know, private shops here, and it's uh, it's really worth coming. If you if you're into stuff like that, I'm you know obviously I'm not, but. It's uh, it's worth coming out for a day. But, uh, that's a fish restaurant there, that Wellens. Uh, it's got quite a, a good name. A bit expensive, but it's got a good name. <coughs> then there's a chap who does cheese here. He's a cheese merchant. And he's one of the funniest blokes I've ever met in my life. If he if he doesn't like what you're doing, he tells you. And he, he, do, he doesn't take prisoners. <laughs> and he, he'll tell you to bugger off if you if you don't like you cut to your jib. Where is it? It's just here with a red and white uh, thing on lot there. But uh, he puts something on, he's got a chalkboard outside. And uh, he, he put on something about, uh, somebody had complained about something that he did. And he, uh, he put it all online. But, uh, and said, if you don't like it, well, don't bother coming in. <laughs> yeah, strange character, but good fun. Right, this is... Uh, Coming up towards turn off for Lytham Hall. This is the entrance to it, just here, look. It's a beautiful entrance. A bit tight for this lorry here. Huh? I'll just keep back because I don't want to, if he hits out, I don't want it dropping on the car. Look at that for an entrance. Isn't it lovely? This is it. It's free to come and have a wander around. Um, I think they charge it at weekends. 
Uh, you have to pay for car parking, but other than that, it's free. And they've got a cafe in, in inside the hall, and it's it really is quite reasonable. And it's good if you, you know, if you stood for a present for a, you know, like a birthday or Christmas, and you think, oh my lord, what what am I going to buy him? Here they do vouchers, uh, and you can you can come and have a uh, like a tea with them, a cream tea. Then you can buy, buy vouchers and just give it to whoever's you know wanting to come. Uh, and it's it's a completely different gift. It's lovely. Uh, we've done it a few times, and uh, it's superb. So you can play a lady at Lord at Manor, you see. <laughs> It's all Rumby volunteers, this. Um, it's, uh, you know, they do a sterling service. Big long drive to it, isn't it? They have theatres on here as well, and the uh, other year they didn't have a uh, Lytham Festival, but they had a do here, uh, and they were, I think they were Tom Jones and that come, uh, and they, a lot of profit went to, uh, you know, to friends at Lytham Hall, and they, you know, for some extra work for them to do, you know, that they needed to do. I mean, grounds and gardens are lovely. Well, you'll see in a minute. You can hear them getting excited, look dogs. Look at that, what a lovely place. Just look at that. It used to be the Clifton family that that lived here. Uh, and they were all a bit, uh, a bit weird. They were, oh, look at that Rolls Royce there, look. They, uh, they were quite eccentric. So, oops, hang on a minute. We just have to reverse off a bit here, he's backing up. Oh dear. This chap who's driving this wagon's nice and steady. Very cautious. Oh, bluebells are out, look. Bluebells in the woods. My doggies are so excited. This is car park. Oh yeah, 
Uh, we're in Lidamall. We've got dogs out having a wander around. Uh, oh, bluebells are out beautiful. So, uh, yeah. It really is a lovely place to come and have a, a wander around. Look at these. Don't they look tremendous? Absolutely gorgeous. Smell absolutely wonderful. Yeah. It's a smashing area. Yeah, this is one of the ponds they've got. It looks like it's suffering with a bit of uh, algae at the moment. They've got uh, oxygenate, you know, what waterfall going just to help oxygenate it. There's a bit of, bit of algae on here, so yeah, it'll soon go. But uh, that's the view down to all there, look that way. I say it's, it's a lovely, a lovely place to uh, come and just have a wander with your dogs. It's so quiet, you know, usually anyway. I mean, at weekends it gets quite busy, but other than that, it's absolutely fine. So, all different little bits of trees and everything, you know. Uh, and then you've got formal gardens round by the... Uh, the other part, you know, uh, round by the hall. Yeah, they love it, dogs. They, uh, they love having a bit of wander around. It's just a nice little walk. Uh, nothing to bother you. Hearing birds and everything twittering. Certainly a cracking day for it today. There's some more bluebirds in there. Listen to that little bird twittering. Look at them bluebells there. Well, there's no end to my talents, is there? Hey, do drive-bys also us. And then nature trails. Really, I should have got thousands of viewers on YouTube, you know. <laughs> yeah, all the trees are coming into bud, look. Well, they're coming into flower now. It's, uh, that one there other year, it were a big, big tree. And it, it blew over, snapped and blew over. Uh, I think it's no beach. Uh, some big stuff around here. Some huge trees. This is where they burnt bits of brushwood when they're having to felt trees and everything. It's a bit of a workman's area. I've got one of my dogs, Diggy. He likes to be about 100 yards in front of me. And the other one, Benny, likes to be about 100 yards behind me. And it's a bit of a nightmare when they're, uh, when they're sniffing away and everything. So, oh, he's here, look. Yeah, just had a, blo a chap go past, that's why I turned it off. Uh, you know, when you're talking to something, they look at you, it's gone out. So, I just want to show you these trees, size of them. They're huge, some of them. This big beach here, my God, look. That's a monster, isn't it? Absolute monster. Look, right into the canopy there, look. Wow. Meanwhile. So this track, it's... Uh, it's nice and level. It gets a bit muddy, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's a, it is hard footing, but 
bit, uh, it does get a bit, uh, does get a bit wet and everything. It's, uh, it's lovely. Hi. So we're just having a wander up here. I'm not going to attempt to go into that one because that is rather a, a bit of a muddy area. Uh, I don't want covering in mud. I don't want dogs covering this either. But in summer, when you walk, you can walk through there, and it's lovely. It's a bit, a bit of a because it's a bit of a sun trap here, and uh, to go in there, it's nice. When all the leaves are out, it's uh, a bit shaded. Yeah. Meanwhile, keep on wondering. So I've met just one or two people, really nice people. So just in front of us is a lovely oak tree. Uh, I've, I've photographed it quite a lot in the past. Because uh, when it's fully out, it's one of the nicest trees I think I've ever seen. Uh, it's just there as we're coming up to it. Look, it's a big one. So, uh, yeah. It's grand. That farmland there, isn't it wet? Oh dear. It's, I don't know whether you watch any uh, YouTube, in, you know, farmers on YouTube, but this land here belongs to, well, he rents it, Tom Pemberton. Uh, he's a very big YouTuber and he farms just, just really basically across the road. Uh, and you often see him in summer, uh, you know, working on land, but they not be working that yet. There's a lake there. My word. So it's so, so low down this ground. It really gets flooded very, very quick. But, uh, looks like they've had a few more problems here. Look at them. Look at that for a tree. What a beautiful tree. I think it's an old oak that is. It's got some age to it, oh crikey. Yeah. It's wonderful. I think that'll live me out, that one. Yeah, cracking. Put a canopy on it. Going onwards, my friends, as a famous master, Mike Master says. Hello. That, uh, that track there, it leads right down and you cross the road that we've come up and then you can go round back at the, the uh, Lydda Mall uh, and then come in towards Bikeway and through Formal Gardens and everything. It's a lovely walk. Uh, I'm not going to do it today, but uh, this is of a little, well, we've got a little fairy bridge. <laughs> and just in front of us is Lydda Mall. Though. So, uh, yeah, we've got a statue here, look. There we go. Yeah, just under uh, this tree here. You can see canopy near. There, look. Look at that. It's 
Right, I'll get a bit further. I've just pulled up leads because this is where there's a chance of uh, some squirrels. And I really don't want to be chasing him all afternoon. So a lady here with a dog. <coughs> Hello. That's a spectacular sight, that, isn't it? Yeah, lovely all. So it's really worth your coming. Uh, so we love it, love it coming here, me and wife, having a wander around. Yeah, that's the house on a different angle though. Over there it's gardens, the uh, more formal gardens. Uh, you can't see much, but you can wander up. And there's a bank you can go up and take some different pictures and different angles and that at the place. But uh, I'm not going today because I'm knackered. That's, that's just back from where we've come. That, uh, and this road out there, look, and side up the hall. Uh, spin down this. Is that rolled Rolls Royce here, look? Well, I say old, it's not that old. It's, uh, it's knocking on a bit, but what is it, Silver Spirit? Looks well parked here. There you are. Looks very well. It's a pity they don't fetch much money now, these. You too could be Lord at Manor. For less than price of a Ford Fiesta. You can see they do uh, house tours as well. Uh, there you are. I'll just go on to that. It's £9.50 for adults. Uh, the children of Hiver. And it's well worth coming. So it's Sunday afternoon tea. Tuesday to Friday afternoon tea. And an including tour of the hall. Uh, yeah. If you have afternoon tea, it reduces price to just a fiver to go in. Yeah, that's the main entrance. Well, it's in the side entrance. Oh, very nice. Right, meanwhile, we'll go back up here. Those are little carriage here, look. Look at that. A dinky little thing, isn't it? Please do not open or climb on the carriage. It's for display purposes only. Well, I, but you do get them, don't you? People can't do as they're told nowadays. Whereas when we were kids, oh my Lord. My dad were firm, but very fair. He used to get told once and if he didn't, if you didn't do what he said, Biff. <laughs> but it taught you manners. Well, I think so anyway. So, shall we just have a little wander into it? They sell plants and everything up here. I'll go into here and uh, just show you. Just look at these bluebells here, they're beautiful, aren't they? I hope they're coming out as good as what I can see them. Because uh, they're one of the hardest things to photo, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, just walk around here, look. And this takes you to back at all. And uh, there's an antique shop here and everything. And you can uh, go into a cafe. Uh, dogs have got to be on a lead, but that's fair enough. Uh, mine are anyway. There's an antique centre there, look. Uh, yeah, and then all, all these plants are for sale. Uh, and they're not bad prices, really. They're, uh, they're all right. Plant pots and everything, look. This started off just as a little, like a sideline, this really took over. Uh, look, it's one Britain in bloom, northwest. Garden hub with Lytham Hall. Yeah, I'll let you read that. There you go. It's really set up lovely. Look at these tulips. Yeah. Yeah. Some rhubarb plants here. Some little planters lot for spring. See all of this. Yeah, well worth coming. And this is here on right hand side, uh, left hand side, right and left, wrong again. Look, is the uh, entrance into the cafe. I'm not going in. You can take dogs in, but I'm not going in. Uh, I mean, if you come and wander around with dogs, and you can, as long as they're on leads, they'll let you in. Uh, or you can sit and have an afternoon tea outside, look. Look at that cherry in bloom there, isn't it lovely? Hi. <laughs> hey. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Look at that leafy lithium. Makes you want to eat that, don't it? <laughs> Better carry on, else dogs will be. Yeah, you could buy all sorts here, look. Little more statues, look. Yeah, there's parking up here as well. Uh, most of this is disabled parking. So if you've got a, a family member that's uh, a bit infirm, you know, can't get about much. It's really handy to come here. Cause you, can, you can park here and it's literally just a cough and spit there to the cafe. Look at them bluebells. Lovely, aren't they? <laughs> Ain't nature wonderful? <laughs> yeah. And that down there, that's another uh, walk you can go on. And there's another lake up there, but I'll do that on a different day because I'm, I say I'm a bit tired today. So I'm not having one of my best days. So, uh, but it makes you feel better coming out. And there's no rain or anything. Getting about and seeing lovely flowers and that and trees blooming. It's my favorite time of the year, this spring. It really is. 
it's uh, yeah I love it summer's all right but it's well for me it's like the main part of the year's gone uh, and then winter I just don't like never have done never will uh, although it's got its you know loveliness there but no I'm not bothered about winter look at them it's grand isn't it Aye. I don't know. So this walkway is all over. So Another part, look. Yeah. It's all these again. Look. Aren't they gorgeous? Then we walk back to the car park where we were. That's just a short one, that. But you can, well, you can actually spend hours in here. Look at that blossom tree. Look at that, beautiful. Right. This here is an old ice house. Uh, so where they used to store ice for, you know, use in, use in the hall. Uh, yeah, big place. So, it really is lovely. So yeah, look here if you want to have a minute. There's plenty of stools that are chairs about all over. So yeah. Right. Oh it's a dovecote, sorry, not the ice house. I'm wrong. Not often I'm right, but I'm wrong again. There you are. It says dovecote. Let this land roll through. Right, well, if you like what you've seen, you know what to do. Press that like button, subscribe, and share. And a few comments are lovely. Uh, you, you're commenting even more on me, uh, on the work, which is I find very pleasing. Uh, it's nice to see that somebody's out there taking notice and enjoying what I'm doing. So I do get some lovely comments. And thank you to you all, you know who you are. Uh, right, so this is File Wanderer signing off for another one. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, and we'll see you soon. Bye.